it's amber welcome back to another video i am so behind on videos but i'm really excited to finally be sitting down to film this one because i've literally been waiting to make it for over a month now so for my 30th birthday i decided that i was going to take a trip to london london has been on my to visit list forever so i went with my friends i'm very overdue in editing the vlog from that trip but i promise it will be coming shortly after this video goes live so my main itinerary and goal for this trip was to go to as many bookstores as possible and find some really nice uk covers while i was there just pop around like check out the bookstore scene i only brought my kindle with me on the trip because i knew i was going to obviously read on the flight and during my downtime but i wanted the space in my bag to bring home as many books as possible so ultimately I only ended up going to three bookstores which I regret because I got nervous that the books that I'd purchased were gonna be too big for my bag um, I definitely could have bought more books I feel like I had room for at least like five more books but I ended up buying eight books while I was in London I ended up going to three stores I went to Waterstones I went to foils and I went to Brick Lane bookshop in Shoreditch was which is a smaller indie bookstore which was really really cute um, a little crowded but very cute and all together I ended up buying eight books I definitely don't remember which store I bought which books from but if I can remember I will either add a note in editing or I'll call it out during the video and wherever I can I will also try to show comparisons of the US cover versus the UK cover that I ended up getting if it's applicable sometimes the covers end up being the same but I think I got some some good gems I'm going to be sipping a cup of tea during this I hope this is a cozier video for you all it's a really gloomy rainy day here um, so grab your own cup of tea or a coffee depending on when you're watching and let's chat about these books this cover immediately popped out to me as soon as I saw it on the display and after I did I knew I had to bring this book home and then I read the synopsis and was immediately sold and that is I am a fan by Sheena Patel isn't this cover just amazing this is a relatively short book it's written almost as if it were an anthology rather than a novel all of the chapters kind of tie together to talk about the same thing and I honestly like I just have to read the back of the book to you all and I think it'll sell you as much as it sold me unnamed narrator of I'm a fan is in a seemingly unequal relationship with the man I want to be with she is also addicted to cyber stalking the man's other lover an online influencer she refers to as the woman I am obsessed with written with a clear and unforgiving eye this exhilarating debut explores obsessive love race privilege and power dynamic and Sheena Patel is one of the most exciting and original voices writing fiction today so that sounded exciting to me I think it's relatable with a lot of different things we're seeing happening in media right now with shows like swarm that are talking about this like obsessive online culture that we're all living in a part of so this is high on my list I'm excited to read it I probably will get to it in May um, and even just the titles of the chapters are like funny to me like I can tell this is gonna be a really fun probably twisted read like this one aesthetics of front doors dick from someone who doesn't care if you live or die true true a stranger in the city nepotism it girl I might look innocent but I screenshot a lot <laughs> and let me know if you've read it or what you think. This next one is more of like a rom-com and that is Just Got Real by Jane Fallon. Really cute cover again. I believe I got this one at Waterstones and we follow two characters who match on a dating app. Um, I think on the dating app, like neither of them really is fully forthcoming about who they are, but then they meet, they fall for each other, they like each other, everything is going well. And Joni, our main character, finds out that Aunt, who's the love interest, is still on the app and still like talking and actively dating other women. So I think what ends up happening is that she it befriends the other women and kind of plots a revenge on Aunt. It's giving me like John Tucker Must Die vibes and that was a great movie, so into this very into this this next book has been on my tbr for a while and i'm pretty sure that this cover is also the cover in the u.s but i was just really excited when i saw it and knew that i wanted to grab it while i was in london and that is the book of form and emptiness by ruth ozeki this cover is just so pretty to me even with this dumb sticker that i wish publishing would stop forcing on us but i just love the aesthetic of this book and the synopsis also sounds really really good we follow a young boy named benny who's dealing with grieving after the the death of his father and after his father passes away he starts to hear 
inanimate objects have voices so like the clock on the wall the mirror in the hallway that kind of thing he tries to ignore the voices but the more his mom starts to hoard things in their house i guess also dealing with her grief at the loss of his father the more voices he begins to hear because there are just more objects around him all the time eventually the voices also begin to follow him in the outside world not just in his home but as he listens to the voices and leans into the voices he discovers an entirely different world in our world so this is like a great contemporary fiction with some touches i think of magical realism in it it's gotten really really great reviews um it's definitely a chunkier book but i'm excited to get into this one i'm now remembering that i actually did go to a fourth bookstore i went to i forget which bookstore it was but it was in selfridges when i was in the department store with my best friend we were just shopping around i saw a bookstore i forget what the bookstore was well regardless of which store it was i ended up picking up this collection of shakespeare sonnets i just thought the cover was really pretty these are by chiltern that's the publisher um there are so many beautiful prints of classic literature from jane austen to shakespeare i just I love having these on my shelves and Shakespeare's sonnets are some of my favorite probably works of Shakespeare. Like the plays are of course well known and amazing. <clears throat> oh. Well known and amazing but I feel like the sonnets are a little bit more accessible and they have some really beautiful prose and some really famous lines in here as well. This book I knew without a doubt like the first bookstore I went to was one of the first books I picked up and that is Black Cake by Charmaine Wilkerson was one of my favorite favorite books that I read last year and I only had a copy on my Kindle. I really wanted a physical copy and when I saw the UK cover copy with this spoon and these bright colors it just kind of felt the vibe of how I felt when I was reading the book. I read it during summer when it it was like super hot so the bright bold colors made a lot of sense to me and I feel like it's gonna look very nice on my shelf back here but in this book we follow two twins um, fraternal twins a brother and sister after their mother has passed away they're going through her will with her lawyer via a recording that she left to them to explain some things about their lives the two brothers and the brother and sister had essentially been like estranged for a while living their lives separately because of choices that they both made that the other really didn't understand they'd also had kind of like tense relationships with their parents before their parents had passed so now they're trying to like kind of pack up everyone's lives and understand these last stories about their mom it's so, it's so good there's so many like twists and turns what you think the book is about in the beginning is not where you end up it's so beautiful the writing is phenomenal and I would definitely be rereading this book most likely this year maybe this summer um, I loved it and I'm so excited to have this version on my shelf this is another short book whose cover immediately sucks me in and that is the mad women's ball by Victoria Mass I saw this cover on a display table and was just like immediately drawn to it. it the colors and just like the style I feel like we're not seeing a ton of covers in this style yet this season maybe that's because I got it in the UK I'll, I don't know if this is the only version of this cover if there are two they will be on the screen right now but the premise of this book was also super interesting to me first of all it's set in Paris like does it take much more for me to buy a book honestly no it does not so it's set in Paris in 1885 and there's this doctor who is known for being able to help help women who are suffering from things that people who didn't want to deal with women in the 1800s diagnose them with like hysteria so he has this special technique of hypnotizing them that can cure them of their ailments the biggest event of every year is this masquerade style ball where people get to come and kind of like gawk at these women as if they're not human beings they're something to be made a spectacle of so our main character is a nurse named genevieve who is really trying to lean into science because she doesn't understand how like religion and everything kind of fits into her life after she suffers a really really sad loss I believe of her brother or her sister and so now she works at the hospital she befriends one of the patients who is undergoing this hypnotism treatment for her hysteria and they become really close and then she realizes that she wants to help this patient escape like she uncovers the darkness of this hospital and this doctor's treatment so it sounds really good this is another short read and I'm excited to dig into this one as well I know I'm gonna say that about every book that's how Hall's work I this next book has also been on my TBR for a while and I love 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 the UK version of this cover the US version of this cover is also very nice but I feel like this one is just like it's it makes the storyline and the plot sound so much more haunting and I think that's the author's goal and that is the school for good mothers by Jessamyn Klen and 
goodness gracious this book has been everywhere i'm definitely the last person to read this book i believe it came out either in 2022 or 2021 um has gotten some really good reviews it is an adult dystopian book that focuses a lot on motherhood okay so in this book we follow our main character frida and her life is described as being like messy so she's disappointed her parents with her choices she is in this marriage and i guess the marriage is also a little bit messy and she has recently become a new mom in this society the state is very watchful of mothers and for mothers who are not able to successfully mother in the way that they deem acceptable there are these like classes or these like facilities where they can go to become better mothers the school for good mothers these women end up in these schools by having like simple lapses in judgment that any mom who is trying to keep a small human alive likely has during the day so frida has one of these lapses in judgments with her daughter and is forced to go to these school for good mothers to learn and prove that she can be a good mom just knowing how much society puts how much pressure society puts on women to automatically know how to be a good mother to be perfect and to do it without ever openly confessing your struggles i feel like the topic of this book is incredibly timely and honestly timeless because we've been putting this pressure on moms forever and I'm saying that as someone who is not a mom. This one is very high on my TBR. This may have to be a May read as well. May is looking to be a very stacked month for me but also May is going to be the book that the month that I go back to reading more physical books because I've been a Kindle girl almost all year which is fine but like I miss just and last but certainly not least i picked up a classic while i was there if you have listened to my podcast before or if you've listened to the podcast that all the book nerds love and if you have not listened to it you should by ann bogle called what should i read next you know that she did an episode of my podcast and i did an episode of hers in the episode that i did on her podcast which i can link in the description box we went back and forth with book recommendations and she recommended to me this classic book that i've been meaning to pick up but because it is such an old classic there are so many covers for this book hardcover paperback like deckled edges there are many many covers for this book but when i saw this one i knew this was the one that i wanted to add to my collection and that book is rebecca by daphne de maurier i don't know that if Anne had not recommended this book to me if it would have even been on my radar it was made i believe into a series or a movie on netflix and i haven't watched it because right before the movie came out and recommended the book and i just cannot compute watching the show before you read the book like it's that's a very hard concept for me so this is like a gothic mystery there is this beautiful mansion it's set in i believe the english countryside and this mansion is like the pinnacle of that area's society like the family that lives there is very influential very well to do so the wife um of the manor passes away and the husband remarries i believe a younger woman the wife's name was Rebecca. Rebecca was like the talk of the town. So now this new young thing has moved into Rebecca's old house and I believe she's being like, I don't know that she's being haunted by the ghost of Rebecca, but she's being informed by the ghost or the memory of Rebecca. So that's all I really know. That's all I want to know. Um, it's a little chunky, under 500 pages. Um, but I love the cover as well. I love the poppies. I love the font, the gold, the gildedness. I'm trying something new with my lighting right now. So the green, the vibiness. I don't know. I'm either going to really love it or hate it. So that's why it looks like it's reflecting green on the book. But it's really just this pretty gold color. That is the London book haul. These are the eight books that I grabbed while I was in London. If you've read any, let me know which ones I should be reaching for first. If you found a new book through this, let me know which ones you're going to add to your own TBR. If you have other bookstore recommendations that I should check out the next time I'm there, please leave them in the comments because... I cannot go to another country without getting a new book or eight and a mug because did you even go anywhere if you didn't come back with a mug it for this video I promise 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 the London vlog will be up next I hope you guys enjoyed this one don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos like the video so that other people can find this nerdy bookish side of the internet and I will see you all in the next one bye <laughs>